Hello friends, this patient had an idiopathic floppy iris syndrome with small pupils and iris chaffing. Well, the moral of this video is to show you how you can use a ball dialer like an iris hook to keep the chaff portion of the iris away from the phaco probe. This was a 57 year old male patient on Urimax for 3 years. The max pupillary dilation was 5 mm. He had a grade 2 nucleus sclerosis and let's start with the nucleus disassembly. The incisions as well as the CCC, the capsular rixis was uneventful. I'm trying to break this nucleus down with, by the direct phaco chop technique and even as I proceeded with the first chop, I found that the pupil had dramatically shrunk in size from 5mm to about 3.5mm. However, since I am employing the direct phaco chop, I continue by making multiple chops. The machine I'm using is a Stellaris machine with vacuum on demand. The pupil is also progressively becoming smaller and at this point as I am evacuating this piece I find the iris chaffing occurs of the subincisional area. Now you know that once the iris chaffing occurs there is a tendency for this iris to keep getting sucked into the phaco probe again and again and therefore I tried to keep my phaco probe away from it only succeeded in holding the opposite portion of the iris. However, significant chaffing did not occur at this point. The chaffing occurs not because you hold the iris but because you apply phaco power while holding on to the iris. And that is why the portion at around 7 o'clock did not get chaffed even though I held it. So keeping the phaco probe well away from the chaff portion of the iris, I am performing phaco emulsification. The trick is to activate the phaco power only after the bevel has been occluded by the nucleus fragment. Now because there is a tendency of this iris to come into the phaco probe, I use a ball dialer. This is known as a tenens nucleus manipulator. So this can act like an iris hook and keep the chaff portion of the iris away from the phaco probe. Nucleus disassembly has now been successfully completed. While pulling out the phaco probe, the iris has a tendency to prolapse, reposited with viscoelastic. I attempt to remove the cortex using a Sinsky hook to retract the iris but I find that this device is quite inadequate even though you are able to retract the iris by pulling on the surface of the iris the chaff portion of the iris tends to come within the coaxial IA port a small bit of nucleus fragment that was left behind is crushed and removed through the coaxial IA port now I switch over to the ball dialer once again. The advantage of the ball dialer in cases of IFIS is that it helps to hold and push the edge of the pupillary margin away from the phaco probe. So it acts like a mechanical obstruction preventing the chaffed iris from getting into the aspiration port of the coaxial IA cannula. So this is why in cases where there is IFIS, it is better to retract the iris using a ball dialer. You see now the entire bag is totally clear of cortex and I move to the final step of implanting the intraocular lens which is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens implanted within the capsular bag. There are several tricks that uh, have been proposed in the management of IFIS which is the use of uh, epinephrine at the start of the procedure, use of iris hooks 
to prevent pupillary shutdown as well as keeping the iris away. What I propose to show through this video is that in case there is a chaffing and only a small portion of the iris is chaffed and you can still go ahead with the FACO procedure. You can use a ball dialer temporarily as a device to keep the pupillary edge away from the FACO probe without having to resort to iris hooks. Prolapsed iris is now once again reposited. Stromal hydration of the incision is carefully performed and the wound is checked for water tightness and that brings us to the end of the case. I thank you for your attention.